wounded through injury. On the 1st of May 1995, supporters turned up in huge numbers to honour one of their favourite sons and enjoy what promised to be an extremely entertaining game of football. As Rangers players arrived, crowds assembled outside the stadium to catch a glimpse of their heroes. The match itself promised to be a unique occasion, with all the stars of the present-day Rangers side lining up against a side comprising of ex-Rangers players, many of whom are still revered today. The stars of yesteryear had leapt at the chance to once again pull on that light blue jersey and relive some of the happy times spent with Rangers. The man who is credited with playing a major part in the Rangers revolution in the mid-80s, which saw the influx of quality foreign players to Ibrox, was Graham Souness. I think Ibrox is I doubt, one of the best stadiums in the country and, and um, we'll see what sort of reception we get later on. I just hope that, that Scott Nisbet gets a big crowd, which I'm sure he will. There'll be players that um, I haven't seen for a number of years, so I'm looking forward to, to renewing that friendship. We'll all, we'll all, we're all a wee bit older, and um, it'll be interesting to see how they've got on. I enjoyed it tremendously here. We, um, we were fortunate, we enjoyed success, and um, it was my first job, job in management, and, and it was all a new experience to me, but I had tremendous help from everybody here, and it was a wonderful experience, and it's something I think... Um, I shall always remember. It's a very special place. How are you? You're looking well. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, it's a fantastic stadium now. Fantastic night, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing. You know, it's going to be a great night for Nizzy, and I think it's a good night for all the lads that come back. Ever since like uh, Nizzy gave us a shout to come and play, I mean, I've been waiting to get back up here and you know sample the atmosphere again. It's amazing. Now years go by in football and it's nice to, like you say, come back and see all your old friends again. It's just really for a good cause, it's for a big Scots testimonial and I'm really looking forward to it and I hope it's a really good night for them. But to be honest, yeah, I'm really, really pleased that Rangers have honoured them this way. Um, it, really, it truly deserves it. I'm really looking forward to it. It's nice to see the old faces again and to come back and play play for Scott is, uh, is a big thrill for me. There's a big crowd obviously building up outside, so it should be good fun. I love the Glaswegian people. I really enjoyed my time here and it was, uh, it was a great time. Had I been slightly younger, I'd like to have stayed a, a lot longer. I'm looking forward to it very much. It's, it's great because you, you forget when you park the car across the car park and then walking across, the supporters are still the same and it takes you half an hour to walk across as well, sign autographs and they just love the games here and um, yeah, it'd be great. It's, it's something you've been looking forward to, I've been looking forward to for a long while. It's just basically just to see all the lads and the gaffer and everybody else and you know it's, it's, it's nice and there's so much to talk about and so many things to have a laugh about especially and uh, it'll be an even bigger laugh for me and Robert playing together tonight so. Like playing with Big Terry, was, Ray Wilkins learned so much off these guys and it's, it was a, just a dream to play with them though. So I'm just glad they're coming tonight and then you've got Sunis coming in as well so it should be a great night. When you play for Rangers you're playing for the biggest club in Britain. And like, like me, it's in the heart and in the blood and it was just a great honour just to run out with a Rangers jersey in front of 44, 45,000 every week. It was great. Nervous. <laughs>